Hi, I'm Saad. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be using my Logic Pro book to show you some really cool automation tricks. I'm going to show you a bunch of automation tricks in this video for free. If you want a discount for this book, I will actually link it in the caption. So check that out and let's get right to it. So the first automation trick that everybody should know is A to automate. If you press A, you open up this automation window and there is all the automation that you can do within here. Um, something that's really cool is if you go to mix and you have this selected, which is auto select automation parameter in read mode. Basically, whatever you select will be right in your automation window. So let's say I want to automate um, an EQ filter on these claps, right? So all I have to do is click on the EQ and then all I have to do is click on the filter I want and it'll automatically be in this automation window because this is selected. Check it out. Bam, bam, it's right there. So that's all I have to do. So now I can either go through and lay some points so I can just like pick a point here, here, and then kind of just like move it around on and off. Or another fun way that you can automate really quickly is by going over here and changing this to either touch or latch. If you use touch, the automation will end with your starting setting. If you use latch, the automation will end with your final setting. So check it out. Let's do touch. Now all I have to do is play the track and then move this to where I want it to be. So there we go. Now I'm going to play it. And you can see it did the automation for me. Let's listen to it. And you can see because we used touch, it ended with the setting that we started with. Now, another cool trick that you can do here is you can press Option to open up the Marquee tool. Use that to select it. So now it highlighted all of the automation and you can just press Delete and bam, it deleted it. The next cool trick is you can use the Pencil tool to draw automation. Let me show you. All you have to do is press T, P to select the Pencil tool and now check it out. Bam, you can just draw it right in. How cool is that? If you hold down Option and use the Pencil tool, it will draw it in for you in a stepped position. Check it out. So now you can see there are like steps. Now let's go back to the regular arrow. All you have to do is press T, T to go back to the pointer tool. If you double click on one of these points, it will just kind of get rid of them. But I'm gonna go back to using the marquee tool Oops. to select them and then press delete. Another cool trick that you can do is if you make a marquee selection and then double click, it will make two perfect points for you. See? Check it out. If you double click on the one of the points, it will make it a perfect slant. How cool is that? Let's say you have a bunch of points and you just want to select the points from this point on. All you have to do is hold down Option and click on a point, and it'll select that point and all of the points after that one. Now if you want to copy and paste this, so let's say I want to copy and paste this all the way over here, all I have to do is hold down Option and then drag it. Bam. Now it copied and pasted it. Bam. If you select TW, you open up this Automation Curve tool, 
And now it can curve the automation for you. Curve. Curve. If I drag this up and down, it kind of moves very fast. But if I want it to move slower, all I have to do is hold down control and then see, now it's moving a lot slower. So I can fine tune exactly where I want to put it versus like this, it goes very fast. I really hope that was helpful. I built this Logic Pro ebook because so many of you asked me to put all of my tips in one place. So let me just show you. If you go to the next page, you'll see a table of contents. And the cool thing is these are actually clickable. So let's click on the automation tricks. So if you click on the automation tricks, it'll go right to that chapter. And then if you wanted to go back to the top, you just click back to the top and it'll take you right back to the table of contents. And then you can click on a different chapter. Like let's say you wanna to go to audio editing tricks. It'll take you right to there. But I'm gonna go back to the top, go back to automation tricks. And then the other cool thing is that if you click on the title of the chapter, you can actually open up the video that shows you how to do each of these tricks. And then bam, that's the video that's going to show you how to do each of the tricks in each of the sections. There are a bunch more automation tips that you can check out. So if you like these, I'm sure you'll love the rest of the tips in this book. And there are so many other tips, Logic Pro Tips 400, that you could just have at the touch of your fingertips. I really hope this is helpful. Don't forget to check out the discount in the caption. I'm Sides. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Comment if you have any questions or have any recommendations for future videos, and I'll see you next time.